I don't know about y'all, but I am sick and tired of the racism in this country. I was reading this article on restingwokeface.com. It was talking about all the ways racism rears its ugly head that we need to look out for. For example, did you know Dr. Seuss? Racist, Lucky Charms, racist, snow globes, stop signs, gravity, cavities, expecting people to be on time, high blood pressure, the last two scenes of The Walking Dead, every television show with Chicago in the title and washing your sidewalk with a hose is racist. So I decided to express my inner anguish through the majesty of song in a little ditty I wrote called Everything is Racist Blues. In 1920, there were 106 million people in this country with an estimated 4 million members of the KKK. In 2016, 330 million people in this country with an estimated 6,500 members of the KKK. The WNBA is the least popular professional sport on the planet means more people would rather watch fishing, softball, and Mentos commercials over women's basketball. In 2016, the WNBA celebrated averaging 7,644 fans per game. You know what that means? I'm glad you asked. That means there are 1,144 more people that attend any random WNBA game than the entirety of the Klan in the whole country. Now, after 100 years, we should be able to say that that's progress, right? Right? Of course not. It's 2019, and everything is racist. You don't sing happy birthday? Well, you some kind of birthdaysist. You don't like Ugg boots and Vans? You fucking lacist. Who doesn't love lotion? Oil of old lacists. You don't like Naughty by Nature? Then you're a hip-hop racist. You don't like Tom? My spacist. You don't like Tay Diggs' big-ass forehead? Then you're a tasist. People who correct your pronunciation is Cindy Poitier or Poitiersis. You don't like male pattern baldness and you're a two paces. You don't like yarn and you're a crochetis. You don't like selling like hotcakes, don't cry with spilled milk when it rains it pours. Don't judge a book by its cover. Every cloud is a silver lining. The grass is always greener on the other side and every dog gets its day. Then you're a cliché-sist. And if you don't like the Jay-Z, you're a hobophobe. 